Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the For Rent series. So For Rent as an expansion really has a lot of bugs. What we're going to do is we're going to resolve those issues with cheats. So what I had to do is move Zara onto this lot, which I paid zero simoleons for, except for I built this little section over here with some columns and some flooring and roof items and things like that. So anyway, the rest of it is just debug stuff. So this is going to be her home lot where I'm going to store the burnt furniture and also be able to get into build mode pretty easily. I'm going to put a recycler over here when I get enough simoleons for that. And we'll use that to get bits and pieces. And we'll use this as her home base. So basically the reason why I have to do this is because she cannot live at one of her rental units because unfortunately it treats her like a tenant and I wouldn't mind that so much and that we wouldn't get paid rent but I don't want her to participate in tenant revolts and I don't want to get a whole bunch of events at her unit and not any of the other tenant units. So we have moved her here so that she will not get any unit events at her place. And like I said, we'll hopefully get them for the other tenants. So I have given her the kleptomaniac trait and we're going to attempt to furnish all of the units with things that she either steals or makes or finds in a dumpster. So we're not going to be purchasing very much from Build Buy. We might purchase a few necessities that I won't be able to get any other way, such as the water heaters and the radiators and air conditions and things like that. But I'm hoping to get most of the furniture and the appliances through other means. And I really didn't want to make her a bad sim in that she has to be a kleptomaniac, but there isn't a lot of unique gameplay that comes with For Rent, and I really like the breaking in feature, so I also have a mod that allows me to steal most things with the Kleptomaniac trait, and we will be utilizing that. So we first visit Johnny Zest's place, and the reason why I come here is because I know he has these gnomes that can be stolen with... Uh, very little mischief skill and I'm only going to raise my mischief skill by actually stealing items instead of trying to use the uh, communication one where you try and prank people with talking. So we made our steal for the day and we're going to why are you throwing something away? All right well we'll scavenge for parts. I don't know what she had to throw away but uh, oh, she has a lot of trash. Okay. So I'm just going to put that back into my inventory. So the way I, I did this is I built this apartment here in Tomerang. And we just have one unit right now or one unit that we're going to rent. The other unit is just so I can get into build mode. And I do have her bed in there. We're not actually living in it. So we're going to le leave it empty. But the other unit over here basically has all of the available s space assigned to it. I'm just seeing that if I can get a few more items for the apartment before I rent it out. And we got a little bit of money too. So right now my other unit has a maximum rent per day of 4,361 simoleons. And what I will be doing is actually manually moving in a family in order to rent it out and then calculating how much rent they will pay and we'll basically have to cheat the money in because what I have experienced at least in my game is that it gives me rent once per week but it only gives me one day's worth of rent no matter how long those people have been there and that's just not acceptable. So we need to make a lot of money. And the only th way that we can do that is by having extremely high rent and collecting rent. 
I think I spent 30,000 simoleons or somewhere around there building this building. Oh, and I actually got a sink. That's a good find. And so it's very difficult to recoup your investment with rentals. And I understand that, you know, that is really actually how it is. But what I want for this series is that we can make a lot of money really quickly quickly if we search the junk mail because I don't know if you guys are aware but if you find one of those 75% off coupons you basically have unlimited money so we will be playing this until we get that and then I'm not I'm still not going to buy any furniture unless it's something that I can't get through other means but what I want to do is be able to buy that $300,000 building on the other lot that I customized. And it has no furniture. And it's just ridiculously expensive. So we're going to hopefully get that junk mail item. Oh, and I got a toilet too. So after we do that, we will be set. And we will have these two buildings. I'll build out all of the walls and make an entire apartment complex here. And then we will also have the abandoned factory that we're going to renovate. And I found a TV and maybe a chair that's probably burnt. So I also chose the lot property of Island Spirits. And hopefully this lot trait will allow me to mostly either get rid of my energy need or my hunger need oh i found a stove that's awesome oh no i discovered another bug okay if you put burnt furniture in a residential unit and you travel away and come back it automatically repairs itself now if it was just broken or dirty it doesn't Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I will have to put all of the burnt furniture on my home lot so that it doesn't automatically fix itself. This stuff was all burnt and this was scratched. Ugh, I hate it when it does that. It shouldn't be that way. Well, we have to clean the toxic mold. All right, we'll have to get some sleep for tonight. I guess we'll, tr oh no, wait. There's toxic mold out here, too. Well, that's not good. There's mushrooms on that one. So we'll have to visit the other unit in order to scrub the spores off. And then we'll go to bed and try and see if we can get some more money for that other unit. Is this refrigerator just permanently broken? I hate when that happens. Okay, I've spent long enough repairing this one. I'm just going to repair it. Okay, now the max rent is 5,452. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and assign this family to it. They have an adult, a teen, and a child, but there's two double beds in there. I know they want three beds, but two double beds is just fine. And now we have the Brock family living there. So I'm going to charge them rent 5,373 simoleons a day and I'm going to charge it every day at midnight or whenever I remember when it rolls over so they really they should have to prepay okay because that's what you do when you move into an apartment you have to prepay so we're going to go ahead and charge the first day's rent now and if they move out, we won't charge them rent on the day they move out. And now we have enough in order to buy our recycler. Okay, unfortunately, there is no way to destroy these items. I can scratch them, but destroy object is not what I want. I want to make it burnt and I don't think I can do that without actually starting a fire oh there is a debug start fire well oh, <laughs> I could burn it 
And there we go. So hopefully most of this stuff will burn. <laughs> and I don't think I've actually ever done this on purpose before, but um, yes, there is a fire there. Okay, good. So we burned the bed and we burned the dresser. Can we burn the other stuff, please? Goodbye. Yes, there's a fire there. Okay, let me put this one out because it doesn't seem to be spreading too much. Maybe I can start one closer to the other furniture. Oh, I got 500 simoleons. I don't want that. No, we don't want to nap there. I'm going to start a fire. This is probably going to make her afraid of fire. What are you doing napping? Get up. Oh, and now she puts it out. No, don't put it out yet. I needed to burn the chair. Okay, good. We burned the chair in the counter. All right, I started a fire right underneath that. No, not yet. Not yet. Wait until it burns first. I started a fire right underneath that couch. Please tell me it's going to burn. Okay, there we go. Now you can extinguish it. Okay, so now I'm not cheating. At, although I don't think I... Yeah, the, the table. I forgot about the table. All right, this is... Uh, hey, stop it. <laughs> this is actually uh, costing me time. But that's okay. We have to make sure that all this stuff is burnt so that I actually have to pay bits and pieces in order to repair it. I don't want free stuff. Did the table burn? I think it did. Okay, it did. All right, so now we have to repair all of the stuff. Okay, we're about to pass out, so I'm going to take a quick snooze. So I think we'll do the next heist at nighttime, and we're going to attempt to swipe another gnome. Okay, we need to eavesdrop. Can we eavesdrop over here? Because we need to get the Seeker of Secrets. Is there anybody in there to actually eavesdrop on? I'm not sure. Oh, Zara has discovered that Johnny has the secret sinking feeling. I'm trying to be better about this, so don't judge me. But really, so what if I've washed a few dishes in the bathroom sink every now and then? In the end, a sink's a sink. It's not like it's any less sanitary than the kitchen sink. Whether or not you believe me, I can assure you that there were very good reasons for me to do this. You just wouldn't understand. Sims. Now, if we go to the unit that we actually are renting out, we can eavesdrop on our own tenants. She's cooking on the grill. Hopefully she does not start a fire. Zara has discovered that Julie has the secret, my fun's magically rosebud. Listen, I don't know where those extra simoleons came from. It felt like it happened in an instant. Okay. One day I checked my account and saw all my funds were normal as expected. A few hours later, I'd randomly acquired thousands of simoleons out of nowhere. It must have been an accounting error or something. I swear I didn't steal them. I was so nervous, I panicked and spent it all on a bunch of new furniture to hide the evidence. If anybody finds out, they'll assume I'm a thief. Well, we're a thief, so we should deliver fine for no loud noises. Oh, look, free food. Okay, so we did not get our fine. That's okay. We have a social need that is not met, so maybe we'll blackmail our tenant. Now I'm going to get the always welcome reward trait, and the reason why I have to do this is because if you shower while you have another lot loaded, even if you shower in a public space, they will not like it. So I think that I should be able to do whatever I want in my buildings. So I'm going to get that trait so that they don't complain about it. I think we're going to avoid blackmailing people unless it's actually part of my aspiration. Just because I don't really want Zara to be a bad person. Now she is a kleptomaniac, but I am only going to steal from the land grabs and maybe Judith Ward. So I kind of feel like that's not that bad. Okay, that time I got the no loud noises violation and I got payment for it. My assignment is to uproot a garden plant. I really don't want to do that. Okay, it's Tuesday. We need to get paid for rent and it's another 5,373 for a total of 10,865 simoleons. So 
we should probably get up to 300,000 maybe quickly. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this off of just rent, even with cheating. <laughs> so we really need to try and find that junk mail coupon. Sadly, there's no junk mail today. Great. Well, maybe we don't need two garlic plants. And I think we have a garlic plant inside. No, I think this is something else. I don't even know what that one is. I guess we can uproot one of the garlics. Okay, we'll try eavesdropping again. Zara has discovered Nancy has the secret cereal decliner. I think I've seen that one before. So I'm actually going to upgrade their radiator and make it fire safe because I don't like fires. And we may as well get some free food while we're here. We need to get our gardening up to level 4 so that we can actually increase our level at our job. Okay, so we should hopefully get a promotion and maybe that will be it and we'll be able to quit that. Oh, it's a pet adoption drive. Okay, so we have to pet cats and dogs. Oh, this dog does not like me. Oh, look, it's Mayor Whiskers. Okay, I don't know how I'm supposed to pet the cats and dogs when they keep falling asleep and they also won't allow me to introduce myself. A talkative cat is an annoying cat. Come on, let, just let me pet you. Okay, it counts if you pet the same cat or dog more than once, which is useful because it's hard to get any of them to even pay attention to me. Okay, so we pet all the cats and dogs that we need to pet. Okay, it's now Wednesday, and I do have the buff that allows me to not sleep for five more hours. So we get another 5,373 simoleons for a total of 15,546 simoleons. Now maybe we'll have something to eat. Now I don't know what happens if you leave while the adoption drive is going on, or maybe you can't because it's an event. I hope that you can because I don't want to be stuck here forever and we'll just go eavesdrop on the land grabs okay we broke in so we're gonna stoop for secrets and we're also gonna try and swipe something okay apparently you can get famous from oh, gossip Laura blog Chicago. posts but it doesn't look like you gain anything other than followers I didn't get any money oh, from that shoot. Oh no, Jeffrey actually came home. I knew that my um, swiping thing was not going to refresh. Um, yeah, see, you're all burnt, Jeffrey, but I did put out your fire. Are you going to fight me? Okay, so, yeah. And my rule is if I get caught and I'm actually fighting the owner, if the owner wins the fight, I will return the stolen item. But if he loses the fight, oh, he won. Okay. Good job, Jeffrey. Okay, so what I stole was this light. I'm going to return it to him. And we'll spend some time trying to fix up some of the furniture that we found in the dumpster. Another thing I wanted to do is to have potlucks and then sell the food that I got at the potluck at the night market using the food stall. But unfortunately, the food that you get for the potluck is not flagged as yours, so you don't get any money if someone buys it. And it's just such a shame because you should be able to sell it. Oh no, there's a water leak. Okay, so we have to go next door and solve the water leak issue. However, if I switch over to the five-star property owner, maybe I can handle a maintenance event? All right, so we'll have to repair all of the plumbing objects and then mop all of the puddles. But in my experience, it really doesn't care if you mop the puddles. You just have to repair all the plumbing objects. And of course, there's mold now because of all the puddles. Yeah, and then all of them just disappear. I don't know why it tells you you have to mop the puddles when you really don't. Yeah, if you have a no loud noise rule and then you give your tenants a TV or a radio and just visit in the middle of the night, they will always be watching it. And so you'll be able to prosecute them every single time. Well, now it's Thursday and we get to collect rent again. 5,373 simoleons. 
for a total of 21,244 simoleons. Now I know we're gaining a lot of simoleons really fast, but we actually need like 300,000, so that's a lot. All right, and we need to install an upgrade. I did get credit for that maintenance event, really? And why does the sink keep creating puddles? I don't know why. And of course now there's toxic mold because this sink for some reason keeps creating puddles. Hey, hey champ, so get this, I've got a cool business idea. This is going to be the big one, but I, uh, I need a few more simoleons to get it off the ground, like a thousand simoleons. Do you think you could help a buddy out? You get it all back and then some, I swear. Okay, we'll give Bess a thousand simoleons and then if she doesn't come through for us, we'll just go to her house and swipe something. I think we also need to get a fabricator because I think we can make some interesting things with that for the apartments. I've also been considering trying to do a mod and see if I can maybe fix some of the things from for rent and add a little more depth to collecting rent. Basically have tenants that have jobs more likely to pay the rent and then if you evict someone you should be able to sue them for the rent and for eviction fees and maybe hire lawyers and, and have a law degree that, that allows you to represent yourself or something like that. I mean, they could have done a lot more with this that integrated with other packs, but it seems like it's really too simple and even the simple things just don't work. So here we are at Judith Ward's house, and I'm going to try to break in and snoop for some secrets here. Maybe steal a couple of things. We'll see. Of course, most of the things here are too high level for me to swipe, but we'll take a light. No secrets here. Perhaps a life of hunting for another's dirty laundry isn't in the cards. Okay, you can snoop at a desk. I really don't have to discover any secrets. I just need to snoop. Okay, Judith Ward has a secret oh baby a challenge so this is the one where she wants to have a hundred babies with different partners i think i think we've read this one already but yeah it's after the 100 baby challenge but i don't think judy would be a very good mother okay she wanted to talk to um Hua Bunma. Anyway, so <laughs> we're going to discuss our fears of death and hopefully get rid of this fear. Okay, we now have a fully upgraded recycler. Okay, there is a tenant revolt. Why? I do not know. Yeah, I don't think this will count as a maintenance event, but okay. Okay, what happens if we promise better conditions? Although you really can't deliver better conditions unless they move out because you can't do anything. You can't give them anything. And maybe in the common areas you could, but they won't let you change the, the rental area while there's someone living here. Oh, Bess, she needs another thousand simoleons. Well, if you call them out for never paying you back, you'll immediately get 2000 simoleons. But I'm going to give myself permission to steal from her and give her another thousand, even though what I take from her is not going to be worth a thousand. All right, so it's another day and another day of rent. So we get another 5,373 simoleons for a total of 24,628 simoleons. Now, I think what I might do is purchase one of those um, fabricators and put it in here. Okay, I put it in the shared area. So that will actually make the activities go up for the other unit. So maybe I can raise the rent. Let's see, I need to research repair techniques, but I don't have a computer. Maybe we should visit Bess's house. Oh joy, and it's pouring down rain. Now, Bess actually moved out of Evergreen Harbor into Willow Creek for some reason. And just my luck, she probably doesn't have a computer. No, just a base game starter home with no computer. Great. Okay, Bess has the secret toilet terror. 
One day when I was a child, I was overcome with glorious wave of playfulness. I wanted to get the, okay, so this is the one about the kid pranking it every day for years. All right, so is Bess a goofball? I don't think she is, but that would be kind of interesting. Okay, so now we're on to the next level of secrets. One of the best things to recycle in order to repair burnt furniture is fruit and produce. So just grow some things on your lot. And sometimes you get nothing for recycling, you know. Okay, I maybe I did, but I just didn't see it flash by for some reason. Okay, so that one takes a lot of recycling pieces to repair. 1920. But it's also a 10,000 simoleon bed. And we'll eavesdrop on our tenants again, although I don't think that we have any more secrets to learn from them. Okay, we'll keep Julie's secret because we actually need to do that for our aspiration. And she's a tenant, so we really should be nice to her about the secrets. Since we're always using their shower, then we're actually going to help them out by upgrading it. Okay, we'll try eavesdropping on Thorn on, and Octavia. Sometimes they have some juicy secrets going on in the celebrity world. Okay, Octavia. It's been said my family are descendants of Lord Reginald Wainscott Stickywack von Donswald. Before his nautical voyages, it was rumored that he had several relationships throughout his early years. I've traced my ancestry back enough that I can almost find a connection that could link us together, which seems pretty definite to me, but I don't want word to get out. I'd hate to be treated differently just because my ancestor was the 37th Earl of Biscuit. I just want to be treated normal like everyone else. That kind of secret doesn't even make sense for a celebrity because they don't want to be treated like normal. Now we have to somehow find Octavia because I forgot I can't knock on her door. So maybe we'll see if Mortimer has a secret. Tiger Tantrum. The sanctuary in Tomarang has been open for as long as I can remember. As a small child, I would beg to visit every weekend. One visit in particular, I saw a small cub stumbling around. At that moment, I knew I wanted to take him home with me. I screamed and kicked and cried, begging for a baby tiger of my own. My parents thought it would be a good idea to get me a pet cat instead. I named him Mr. Tiddlywinks, and he looked just like a tiger. Oh, how I loved him. And then one day, my good old kid brain decided it was time for Mr. Tiddlywinks to return to the forest. Never teach a child rehabilitation and release unless you specify you shouldn't do it to your house pets. I like to imagine Mr. Tiddlywinks is living high and mighty these days with his tiger pack. He was a menace, but he was my menace. Just don't tell anyone I abandoned my cat in the forest. I was just a kid. I didn't know any better. Oh, that's terrible. Mortimer. That was just not good. We'll confront about the secret and then we're going to blackmail you. And why is the payout always a hundred simoleons? I don't know why they did that, but that's just the way it is. Judith, how are you doing, Judith? Unfortunately, I don't think we can talk about her secret unless we actually know her. Okay, so now we need to blackmail a sim. And since we know that Christopher abandoned Smeagy, we will blackmail him. All right, now we need to break into a home. Hopefully Thorn Bailey has a computer, since Judith didn't. Mm, I'm thinking no, no computer. Great, we have this music mix station, but not a basic computer. Do I have to just, just go to the library for this? This is ridiculous. Okay, the next thing to do is visit the Tiger San at night and get a souvenir when you sneak in so you basically have to try and get a tiger inspection badge okay it says I can visit it I don't know about at night it's 1 a.m. I wonder how you sneak in because that wasn't an option okay 
Zara removes her shoes upon entering, trying not to linger long in the threshold. It's important to be respectful when visiting the great beauty inside Tinsu Temple. It's hard to believe something this majestic and beautiful can exist so close to home. All right. Um, how do we sneak in, though? Because all we can do is visit. Maybe it's not the correct time. Yeah, it's just giving me the same thing over and over again. So either it's an incredibly random thing or I'm not visiting at the correct time. I'll have to look it up because it doesn't say sneak in. It just says visit. Okay, the temple is not the sanctuary. So basically we can sneak into it because it's over here. It's in a completely different place, which has no convenient place to zone into. That's just how it goes. Electrical failure. Okay, great. So my tenants are having an event at the same time as I'm trying to sneak into the tiger sanctuary. Caught. Okay. Caught in the act. Under the cover of night, Zara approaches the sanctuary's entrance in hopes of simply slipping inside for a look around. Unfortunately, with just one foot in the door, the shine of a guard's flashlight stings her eyes. Caught red-handed and blinded by the accusatory shine, she better scramble to find an excuse quickly. Claim to be looking for a lost item. Rant about being a tiger enthusiast. Maybe if we claim to be looking for a lost item, it's probably not going to work. Zara explains that she forgot something on an earlier visit and was hoping to just quickly grab it. This thing is super important. The guard looked dubious, but had actually found something during an earlier patrol. Pulling out the lost and found box, a single object rattled inside. Next time, kid, come back during office hours instead of sneaking around. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, and we got a tassel, a blue tassel. Okay, and I guess I'm not being kicked out right away. I'm still in there. Okay, I guess we could sneak in again. No, we can't. Okay. So it's currently closed, but we got kicked out and we can't go back in tonight. We did get a tassel though. So let's go handle the electrical event. Okay, this one is actually dangerous because we have to repair all the electrical items. And we might get electrocuted. Hopefully our handiness is high enough to prevent that. Okay, we handled the maintenance event and unfortunately it's not working. Maybe I have to have the aspiration active when the maintenance event becomes active, which is kind of annoying actually. Okay, it is Saturday and we are owed another 5,373 simoleons for rent for a total of 28,401 simoleons. Okay, we're also doing the font of Tamarani knowledge. So we leave fruit or incense at the spirit house. And we need to use a Tamarani introduction three times and meet a sim with the child of the village personality trait. Oh, well, that might be difficult. I wonder if you have to discover the trait or if it just doesn't matter and the person has to have the trait. Maybe it would help if I was observant. Hopefully that doesn't preclude me from getting the goal of the aspiration met, though, because I think some of those are kind of risky. Okay, this person has a squat toilet, so we are going to use it and maybe swipe it, too. Okay, I think Zafira is a child of Tomari. No, she's nosy and clumsy. We need a child of the village. I guess we're just going to introduce ourselves to a bunch of random people until we find one. Okay, so Venetia. Venetia? Venetia? I don't know. Venetia is actually a child of the village. So it wasn't her daughter or her roommate. I don't know if that's her daughter or her roommate. But looks like her daughter maybe they have the same last name so it it's her basically and i don't know why they have the bags on their head i think maybe that got voted in when i was living here and i just or maybe they got started with voting and once you vote one thing in they tend to vote even if you move out and they pick something else Bess again okay 
Yeah, so it looks like I'm going to need a thousand extra simoleons because I actually blew the last thousand you gave me on getting a bunch of money crates in this phone game I've been playing. I swear I'll be more responsible with this this time. Okay, Bess. Okay, I'm no longer getting any bits and pieces for my produce. Is it because I upgraded the machine? Oh no, I am getting them. It just seems like I'm not because it doesn't tell me for some reason it's not giving me the little pop-up. It's just adding them. Well, anyway, I still don't have enough to repair that bed. I don't know if I'll ever get enough to repair that bed because I keep getting other things to repair that are much cheaper. Okay, let's see what I paid a thousand simoleons for this time, Bess. Maybe a stove? We'll try one more time to collect the loud noise violation from the tenants. Nope. The unit rating has fallen as a result. Well, this is the end of the week. And Zara has made 27,000 simoleons. So that's pretty good. We actually have a lot of new furniture items as well. And we have made some progress on some of the aspirations. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.